This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hey everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. I'm Mitch English. This is Daily Flash. We're welcoming you to this Wednesday show. Mm -hmm. So glad to have you here. That uh, boy, that Diddy uh, lawsuit that's out Ooh. right now, and where is he? And uh, the, the fact his name is Diddy, Diddy. <laughs> Everybody's going after that. <laughs> well, there is a 73 page lawsuit that has been uh, issued out, and some big names have actually popped up, including Prince Harry in this lawsuit. Uh, it was actually uh, out by uh, producer Rodney Jones, and it also, he's not the only one, there's also other celebrities, athletes, as well as political figures that are involved in this, and they wanted to make sure, those are reporting there, uh, saying there's no suggestion of any wrongdoing at all from the prince, mm -hmm. uh, from the uh, Duke of Sussex, but it's kind of reminiscent of this Epstein. Remember Epstein's mm -hmm. like, who went to the island? Who went to the island? Mm -hmm. And they're saying because of what uh, P. Diddy is being accused of, you know, was his house parties one of those uh, sort of places where people would show up? If you showed up, your name probably going to pop up in this lawsuit. Because I think the question is, when you are someone as successful and famous as D -D P. Diddy and makes that kind of money, if, if you've got that kind of money and you throw those kinds of parties, is there something going on? Are you... Are, are you holding something over people? Yeah. Because I read in one of the reports that he had a camera in every single room too. in his mansion. So why do you have a camera in every single room in your mansion yeah. if it's not for keeping an eye on things? 100%. <laughs> um, I, I, and I think that, uh, you know, again, like, we should reiterate that, that he's not been charged with anything. He's just named in this right. lawsuit. But there, maybe they have, and the reason they have to do that is say, hey, what did you see what did, when you yeah. were there? So that if they name names, that there's going to be people yeah. that could testify. He used to host those giant white parties out yeah, in the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. And I've heard a few people talking about it, that it was really awkward. And there were people like quarantined off to certain areas of the house. Like I, I know Howard Stern was talking about it where he's like, they kicked me out to like the uh, not famous cool people. <laughs> and all the famous people were inside. He's like, I never saw them. So he went to like one of them and he's like, it was really weird and he never went back. Oh, in those parties, well, and Stern doesn't really go to parties no. much. That's so. true. Yeah, well, there's that. a good movie on Netflix right now. It's called Scoop. And it's about um, Prince Andrew and his involvement oh, with boy. Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein and how that whole debacle of an interview on the BBC with Prince Andrew came about. It's okay. really I fascinating. Think that popped up. I'm going to check it yeah, out. Yeah, it's good. All right. The unveiling of a new aquatic center in Paris for the 2024 Summer Olympics. Well, it gave us quite a dive into the cringe, if you will. Oh, a diver took a spill in front of the French president while they were opening up the pool. The oh, athlete yeah. attempting a synchronized dive oh, when his initial gosh. jump on the end of the board ended with him slipping instead of starting his somersault. The 2022 World Aqua Aquatic Silver medalist actually slipped completely off the board and hit his back before falling into the pool. He's 26 years old. And he actually had a good attitude about it. He told reporters, ah, I wasn't too embarrassed, though there were so many <laughs> distinguished oh, guests there at the ceremony. Oh, it's the extra pop better. on the way down. It's even <laughs> it's better. Like, he just didn't fall and the board slapped him two more times oh, before he went. <laughs> I suppose as a, as a professional diver like that or or as an athlete that does that kind of thing, we that more that happens more often than not. Well, yeah. We just see the pretty parts. It was a big yeah. moment and everything. Yeah, yeah. you're 100% right. I can buy that. Yeah. Well, uh, beachgoers from Santa Barbara to San Diego should be wary of an increase in possible shark attacks along the Southern California coastline if a program loses all of its funding. The Shark Lab at CSU Long Beach said it is actively seeking to raise seven million dollars to keep their program running past June. The Shark Lab monitors hundreds of adult and juvenile sharks that swim along California's coast. Look at that. The lab also issues an instant warning to lifeguards if a shark gets too close to the shoreline. The Shark Lab, which began in 1966, has an impressive number of receivers, buoys, and underwater monitors that allow them to track and tag the sharks. There's so much we don't know about the ocean, and uh, you know, sharks yeah. seem to be kind of close to the top of the food chain, so yeah. if something ever happens with them, you know, obviously everything under, so it is important for them to be able to track them and yeah. find them as well. We only hear about when they, you know, attack people or Steven Spielberg makes a movie about them, <laughs> right? Now see, some people would argue with you when it comes to an animal attack it's more of an encounter you're you're entering their like space same with bears same with any sort of wildlife they're you're entering their space so you're encountering Keep that them in mind. and it, they just do what they do naturally <laughs> sharks doing shark protect. business we're being sharks we're sharks we're gonna yeah. do shark things we are gonna do more trendy news and entertainment coming up after this